Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, September 1st, 2023, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Washington, D.C. will spend roughly $20 million in an upcoming campaign to help boost the city's lagging tourism recovery, writes global tourism reporter DeWitt Hoptimerium. The global campaign called There's Only One D.C. will launch November 1st. Hoptimerium reports the campaign will support influencer collaborations as well as advertising on social media and television. Destination D.C., the city's destination marketing organization, hopes the funding injection will help in its efforts to attract international travelers. Washington, D.C. welcomed 1.2 million foreign tourists last year, which was just 60% of its pre-COVID figure. Hoptimerium cited the absence of Chinese tourists, the city's largest visitor market pre-pandemic, as one reason for Washington, D.C.'s international slump. Next, U.S. hotel group Sonesta is facing a lawsuit about how it displays resort fees on its website and app, reports senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill. The suit alleges that Sonesta made tens of millions annually since at least 2017 by not disclosing up front its mandatory resort and destination fees at some of its properties. O'Neill writes, Sonesta isn't alone in not disclosing those fees up front. He adds, all of the major hotel groups and many smaller hotel brands have engaged in the practice of junk fees in recent decades. Lauren Wolf, a counselor for consumer advocacy group Travelers United, said lawsuits against more companies regarding so-called junk fees are coming. Travelers United filed the class action lawsuit against Sonesta. Finally, Airbnb and New York City have had a rocky relationship, one marked by lawsuits and numerous disputes. Associate editor Rashad Jordan provides a timeline documenting the tension between the city and the short-term rental giants over the past 10 years. Jordan lists the major twists and turns in New York City's and Airbnb's relationship using Ask Skift, our artificial intelligence chatbot, and additional reporting. Airbnb has sued the city twice, including this June, over measures the company called a de facto ban against short-term rentals. That recent lawsuit was dismissed by a judge. In addition, Airbnb is staring at the prospect of a steep reduction in New York City listings starting September 5th. That's when city authorities said they would start enforcing its host registration law for short-term rentals. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Hey, Skift listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.